Hello guys. I recently viewed my analytics and found that people are watching my video but not subscribing my channel. Please subscribe my channel so that I can feed my cat. Hello guys. Today, I am going to show you an American psychological thriller film from 2020 entitled, Dangerous Lies. Warning. This is a spoiler content. So, watch out and take care. In Chicago, Katie Franklin is a waitress at a Chicago diner who wakes up a sleeping customer, her husband Adam Kettner, who has fallen asleep over his sociological theory and corporate analysis textbooks. They go make out in their car on Katie's break, wishing they could spend more time together, but both so busy with their work and studies, trying to make ends meet. Adam says he can't wait to provide for her the way she deserves. When they return to the diner, they witness the diner being robbed at gunpoint. Adam grabs a frying pan and subdues the man, being called a hero. The robber, who killed a busboy, is sent to prison. Four months later, Katie is working as a caretaker for Leonard Wellesley, a wealthy and kind older man who lives alone in a very large house. Meanwhile, Adam has stopped taking classes in order to find a job, but hasn't had luck yet. Student loans and credit card bills are piling up. Katie is stressed and frustrated, and Adam assures her he'll take care of it, but it does nothing to make her feel better. Katie admits she hasn't been the same since the robbery, she told Adam not to go in there, and he could have been killed, and she feels like he never listens to her. Katie goes to Leonard's house to think after her fight with Adam, and Leonard approaches with a baseball bat, suspecting an intruder. He says he keeps thinking he's hearing someone walking around in the house, but never finds them, but Katie assures him no one is in the house. She tells Leonard about her problems, and he offers to help her out with her situation. She tells Leonard Adam needs a job, and Leonard hires Adam to do some work tending to the lawn and gardening. Katie is at Leonard's when Mickey Hayden, a real estate agent, comes to the door and tells Katie he represents a client who wants to buy the house. Katie tells him that Leonard has lived in the house his whole life and has no interest in moving, but promises to relay the message. Later, Mr. Calvern from the caretaker agency comes by the house to do a drop-in on Katie and meet with Leonard. He tells the agency Katie is doing a great job, and when Katie opens her next paycheck from Leonard, she finds that it is wildly over what she is supposed to be paid. She realizes Leonard must have done it after hearing about her money problems. She feels she can't accept it and wants to go back to Leonard's and return the check, but Adam convinces her, despite her reluctance, to cash the check pay their bills, and then write Leonard a check to make up the difference. As they return home, Hayden appears to be watching them from his car. The next day, Katie goes to Leonard's and finds him dead, sitting in a chair in the attic next to his record player. Adam comes over to comfort her, and he begins looking through the things in Leonard's attic, finding a padlock unlocked to a large chest. Inside there are old photos of Leonard and a woman, and underneath a hidden wealth of pure cash. Since Leonard had no family, Adam tells Katie that Leonard wanted to help her and would have wanted her to have the money. Katie and Adam decide to take the money for themselves, where it could make a difference, rather than letting it go into the system. Katie tells Adam they will have to be careful, and he assures her he will be. Detective Cheeseler arrives to investigate Leonard's death, but everything seems routine. Katie decides to go back to the agency to get another job, even though Adam thinks she shouldn't need to. When she tries to get another assignment, she's told by her Mr. Calvern that until the police finish their investigation, he can't put another client under her care. While Katie is interviewing, Adam goes to Leonard's house to collect the money, but hears someone downstairs. He goes to check and sees a broken window, and someone violently hits him from behind. When he awakes, he calls Katie, who admonishes him for not being careful and going to Leonard's home like he belongs there. He tells her he counted the cash, and it's close to $100,000. Katie and Adam try to figure out who the person who broke in was and wonder what they knew. Fearful the person could return to Leonard's, they take the cash to the bank and put it into a safety deposit box, all while Hayden is still watching them. Cheeseler brings Katie in, Katie had mentioned that Leonard wanted to be cremated, but Cheeseler tells her that since Leonard had no family and no will, they don't know who will cover the costs. Katie says she will pay for everything. At Leonard's funeral, Katie and Adam are approached by Julia Byron Kim, who tells them she was Leonard's attorney. She tells them that a few weeks ago Leonard called her out of the blue and hired her to handle his will and that Leonard left everything to Katie. They are shocked and Julia offers to stay on 
and help Katie through the transition since Leonard had a retainer paid. Julia makes sure to tell Katie that she alone makes the decisions for the house, not Adam, and warns her that money changes people. Katie and Adam begin moving into Leonard's old house, Adam wants to immediately buy cars and go on fancy vacations, but Katie tries to get him to calm down. Adam then gets a phone call from the police asking him to come down to the station to make another statement about the diner robbery, but when he gets there, no one has any record of calling him. He runs into Chiseler, who had no idea he was involved with the diner incident. She tells him the assailant from the diner robbery was killed in his cell a few weeks prior. Hayden comes to the house and again tries to get Katie to sell the house, and she refuses. When he gets aggressive and won't leave, she tells him she owns the house now. He accuses the will of being fake, and she tells him she will call the police if he doesn't leave. Katie tells Adam she wants to call Julia, but Adam dissuades her, and then Julia finds a brand new expensive watch in the bathroom. Adam tells her it's a knockoff, but she doesn't believe him. Meanwhile, Chiseler finds the situation suspicious, going to check out the diner. She goes to talk to Adam, but runs into Katie, when she finds out Leonard left Katie everything, she becomes even more suspicious. She asks Katie if Adam always came to pick her up at the diner, and Katie tells him he came early and was studying. She then tells Katie the truth, that no one from the police called Adam, which Adam never told her. When Adam sees Katie talking with Julia, he becomes angry and says they agreed she wasn't going to talk to her. Katie tells Adam that he decided, but she said no such thing. Katie confronts Adam about not telling her about the phone call, and he tells her he's pretty sure he's being followed. Katie asks him if he went to the bank and realizes Hayden probably called him down to the station so that she would be alone and he could come over and try to intimidate her. She theorizes he must know about the money. She tells Adam she warned him he needed to be careful. After talking with Julia, Katie tells Adam that if the police find out they did something illegal, they could lose everything. She says they need to put the money back, and Adam tells her he won't go back to the way things were before. Chiseler interviews Mr. Calvern at the agency, who tells her Katie kept meticulous notes on Leonard's medications. He is shocked when Chiseler shows him the much higher value check Katie deposited from Leonard the night before he died, and also had no idea Leonard also hired Adam. Katie goes into the gardening shed looking for Adam, but when he isn't there begins looking around, she moves a shelf away from the wall and finds another room inside. Inside she finds uncashed checks written out to Ethan, and then a rotting corpse and a bag of diamonds. She tells Adam that Leonard had a gardener named Ethan who he said stopped showing up one day. Mr. Calvern shows up angrily shouting at Katie for taking advantage of an old man and tarnishing his company's name. Adam comes home with two brand new phones, and Katie tells him to return them and the diamonds. Adam says that Ethan stole the diamonds, got shot, and died alone and no one knows. Katie wants to call Detective Chiseler, but Adam says they could lose everything. Katie says as long as they have each other, they'll be alright, but Adam refuses, saying he will never go back to how it was, and resolves to take care of everything. He gets rid of Ethan's body and burns the checks, which they suspect Ethan never cashed to avoid creating a paper trail after hiding out after stealing the diamonds. That night, Adam hears an intruder in the house, grabs a gun, and jumps out to confront the intruder who turns out to be Mr. Calvern. Shocked, he falls backward down the stairs and dies. Chiseler comes to the scene and tells Katie she knows none of this is her and explains that everything is suspicious Leonard dying and being cremated, and then it will be found only after so she can't determine if Leonard died of natural causes. She asks if Adam mentioned a Ray Gaskin the name of the diner robber who she tells Katie was a janitor where Adam was taking classes. She tells Katie not to let Adam take her down with him, and urges Katie to come to her. Katie meets with Julia and tells her about the whole situation, they go to the deposit box and find the cash is missing. Julia tells Katie that Adam is going to leave with the money and diamonds and throw her to the cops. Julia says she will try to hold off Chiseler from getting her search warrant for the house, and that Katie needs to make sure Adam is still here so that everything doesn't fall on her. Meanwhile, the police find Ethan's body and alert Chiseler. Katie goes home and confronts Adam, who is packing up their things and the money he tells her he looked up Hayden and that he's not a real estate agent, but an ex-con just released for robbing a jewelry store three million in diamonds. His partner Ethan, who he shot was never caught. Katie wants to call the police, but Adam says they need to flee right away. 
Katie is relieved that Julia was wrong and Adam wasn't leaving her and calls her to tell her that, but Hayden appears and holds Katie at gunpoint. Hayden holds Katie hostage as Adam aims a gun at him. Hayden shoots Adam multiple times and then knocks Katie to the ground, but before he can do more, Adam manages to fire a few shots at him, killing him. Katie holds Adam, crying as he says something about the garden and dies. Julia arrives and tells Katie they need to find the diamonds before the police get there, or else she will be implicated. Katie realizes Hayden must have read her book on Leonard's medications and killed him with an overdose. She wonders why Hayden shot Ethan, and Julia begins ranting about how stupid you would have to be to do that with three million in diamonds. When Katie realizes she never mentioned how much the diamonds were worth, Julia grabs Hayden's gun and tells her she was a public defender who got Hayden's case and pled him down to two years. Together, they worked to track down the diamonds to Leonard, but weren't able to locate them. She tells Katie she had no idea Hayden would kill Leonard, having grown impatient, so when that happened, she had to think fast. Katie realizes the will isn't real. Julia says Leonard would have given her the house anyway and begs Katie to tell her where the diamonds are. Katie says Adam hid them and she doesn't know, but wouldn't tell her even if she did. Julia aims the gun at Katie, but Chiseler enters. Julia tries to shoot Chiseler, but Katie shoves her and Chiseler shoots Julia, killing her. Chiseler helps Katie out of the house. Four months later, Katie is working in her garden and pregnant when Chiseler comes to visit her to let her know the case is closed and that Adam was cleared of being a suspect. Chelser says they searched high and low but never found the diamonds. Katie turns on the sprinklers and heads inside the water from the garden begins washing, revealing the diamonds. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Subscribe my channel to never miss out any video.